So inside the CinePunch for DaVinci Resolve, we're going to get our CinePunch Macros Transitions and Effects folder. Inside there, you're going to see your Edit folder. And in there, you're going to have your Effects and Transitions. Now on your Mac, go to your Library folder, Application Support, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve folder. In there, go to your Fusion folder and then to your templates. And there you're gonna see your edit folder. Now in some cases, you may have the DaVinci Resolve and you may not see an edit folder. You can then, if you don't see your edit folder, just drag and drop this entire edit folder inside there. And in this case, we do have our edit folder. So if I go inside there, you're gonna see your effects and transitions folder. Now all we're gonna do is go back to our CinePunch folder. I'm gonna start with our effects. Drag and drop the Disruption and Filmmaker folders in our Effects folder. Now I'm going to go back, Transitions, and I'm going to go into the Transitions folder inside DaVinci and just drag and drop our Transition Punch into the Transitions folder for DaVinci. When inside Windows, we are going to go to our Cine Punch Macros folder, and there you're going to see your Edit folder and your Effects and Transitions. Now on your Windows system, go to your Program Data folder. In there, you'll see your Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, and now go to your Templates folder. Now in this case, as an example, we don't see our Edit folder. And in that case, we can just drag and drop our entire Edit folder with the effects and transitions inside into your DaVinci Resolve Templates folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop the Edit folder, and that's it. So now when you go inside DaVinci Resolve, and in our toolbox, we're going to see our Video Transitions category, and now you should see all your Transition Punch transitions. And if we go to our Effects category, we will see our Filmmaker and Disruption. And that's it. Hope you enjoy.